Gibson Les Paul custom, very custom, with Seymour Duncan and a GFS pickup. They were both GFS. I could not take it, so I had a Duncan, uh, not distortion, a custom custom with uh, gold. And if you look, you can tell they're different. Can you see the difference in their patina or whatever the hell it is? They're different. But it's supposed to look gold. It's all gold. All gold, 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 gold. But then there's a cool little speed knob. Because that's the only one I'd be using ever. I don't touch the knobs, really. Unless I'm going to do, you know. And I don't know what this pickup sounds like. <laughs> claimed any craziness with this which is really bizarre to me because how could you do that to really I've got hundreds of guitars well almost hundreds I don't know actually anymore because I got rid of six or seven and then I bought a whole bunch so this was mine because there's always everybody's got this or some version of it some year whatever 
and now they're putting them out in really ugly yellow color, trying to, you know, relic it old. That's an actual 1978, and it was white, and now alpine white or whatever, and then now it's yellow. Naturally, it doesn't look right otherwise. Otherwise, it just looks yellow, like a banana. You don't want that. So this was that, but the neck was shot. And what I wanted the guy to do was to restore the neck. And what, do you do? what kind of, oh, I just got a regular truss rod. But he fixed it up and he goes, if you restore the neck, you can put bow ties. I'm like, he goes, but it'll be, I don't know how many, it was a hundred dollars a inlay, 150 an inlay or something. I said, nah, just put, make sure it looks, he had to redo the whole neck anyways. That's how bad it was. But I bought this one and that one at the same time, same pawn shop. $200, $250 total. Think about that. And I'm like, I scored! But this one turned out to be a very big piece of junk. And I was going to get rid of it. Like, I've sold a lot of guitars and regretted it. But I gave it to my tech guy. And I said, just work with it. I go, put it, you know, put it. Pwn it polka dot. Paint it polka dot and let's see what you like this. This is a I think this is a Vinnie Vincent. I'm not sure. It's a Vinnie Vincent uh, thing. But so this is just a Gibson uh, Les Paul custom with all brand new gold hardware. Uh, Seymour Duncan, a GFS, uh, you know, like PF their equivalent uh whatever 500k knobs speed knobs white one is black and white and i didn't put any uh, i didn't put the the uh stupid uh, you know the plates the brass plate i decided to forget it because it sounds warmer than that one actually it sounds good it's got a, a decent good uh, growly sound especially with each sensation huh this thing sounds badass see once you get it to that point you don't want to touch it this thing <laughs> where did he go dude there so we all know we all know that this is a Japanese you know this is an it's a Gibson made by Gibson it said Gibson on it when I bought it but when I made this I figured I need a replica of his so this is the replica it's a Gibson and it's a Les Paul custom and it's a replica of his exactly down to the pickups down to the guy who set it up the guy my tech was Randy's when he was in uh, Quiet Riot and he totally built this one so this one is a, a, a take on both the Les Paul and the polka dot but I I should have got the inlays done but I, I thought no nah, just put block ones because they look better because to me that just looks right and it wouldn't look right on this it would make it look weird just to me but whatever so that's it you know we're done <laughs> Peep.
people are annoying. Subscribe or I'll beat your face in.